Today, I want to talk about the aging processes because only by understanding how our tissues age, how our skin ages, can we understand what the best treatment is to counteract the aging of our tissues and our overall aging. First of all, what happens in our tissues, in our skin, is predominantly a loss, an increase in degradation, and a decrease in collagen production. Collagen, the most represented protein in our tissues, is somewhat the scaffolding of our tissues. So, what happens is that the production decreases as fibroblasts, which are the cells that produce collagen, obviously, undergo a process of senescence. Moreover, those enzymes that degrade collagen increase, so our tissues lose elasticity, lose tone, and thus sag, forming wrinkles. These are all the main characteristics of aging that we see in aging. Therefore, fibroblast senescence, decreased collagen production, increased collagen destruction, as well as issues with microcirculation, the blood supply to our tissues that loses effectiveness over time. Well, it's very clear that if we want to counteract these problems, both in the medical field with aesthetic medicine and in the surgical field with cosmetic surgery, we need to work on these factors. And here comes into play autologous regenerative therapy. Today, autologous regenerative therapy, thanks to the C filler technique, has entered the clinics of aesthetic medicine as well as the operating rooms of plastic surgeons. However, the great novelty is that it can be performed at the outpatient level in aesthetic medicine centers. Regenerative therapy specifically uses the patient's fibroblasts, which we have seen produce collagen, mesenchymal stem cells that have the ability to transform into fibroblasts, but also into adipose tissue, which also supports our tissues and growth factors that on one hand stimulate the production of new fibroblasts and on the other stimulate the production of better circulation, thus new blood vessels. Thus, autologous regenerative therapy is the true anti-aging therapy in the field of aesthetic medicine. It is clear that today in aesthetic medicine we have fillers that have the ability obviously to provide volume and therefore give structure through volume, but they do not have the ability to act on the real mechanisms of skin aging. Some fillers can have a biostimulating action and in these cases can be associated with autologous regenerative therapy. But remember that today, we can counteract the aging of our tissues using the cells of our patients. The patient's cells are used to restore the situations that have led to tissue degradation. So the set filler technique today is the regenerative technique of choice to be performed in clinics and also in operating rooms.